Hello again everyone and welcome back to Discworld Noir with me, Tomita75. And we have a new clue. So we need to get back to the Octarine Parrot. Because of a matchbook. Ah, there it is. Right, Mankin. There's something you're not telling us. I'm back, so I can see. And it involves this matchbook, 9 Whalebone Lane, the address of the Octarine Parrot itself. Do you know what this is? It's a matchbook. Any reason it might have the address of the parrot written on the back? None that has anything to do with me. I knew he was hiding something. The question was, how could I get it out of him? I'm against unnecessary violence. Besides, these skinny types can be tougher than they look. Oh. Pay him? I wasn't about to flash the stolen tooth around. Someone might tell Lord Salachi, and the next thing I knew I'd have a blade in my back and a receipt from the Assassin's Guild on my bedside table. Guess I'm not doing that then. Pay him with this? I suppressed the urge to ask for money. No. Nope. I was broke, sure, but I wasn't that desperate. I must have some money. Um. This seems like a nice place. No, it doesn't. It seems like what it is. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. It's tough to get to the top in that field. You could have that on a... Blah, 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 apparently. blah, blah. You look a little nervous. I... Come on. It's not often I see a half-elf bartender. Be honest. Blah, 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 okay. blah, blah, What's the deal? I don't like to... I thought elf like cats. That's the problem, isn't it? Every all you I don't like and your so on I'm and not so selling. on and so on and so on. Have you always owned the parrot? No. It used to be a troll bar. Did and you keep so on sure. and so on. But there's something or indeed did you keep only sapphire? Okay. Tell me about sapphire. Tell me about sapphire. Why don't you just talk to her yourself? Just don't bother her while she's working, alright? She's not here. There must be some way to get something out of him. Have you seen Sapphire? She's not here. She went off to see someone. Who? Who do I look like? A keeper? Um... No? That won't be much use. This is some... I'm not sure... Let me try... Let's try giving it to him. See if that works. Do you know what this is? It's a matchbook. Any reason it might have the address of the parrot written on the back? None that has anything to do with me. I knew he was hiding something. The question was, how could I get it out of him? I'm against unnecessary violence. Besides, these skinny types can be tougher than they look. No, so that's the same. The bartender was a half-elf called Mankin. Fortunately, I didn't care. Right. Um... Can I give him money this way? Like, from outside the conversation. I suppressed the urge no. to ask for money. It's just I was exactly broke, sure, the same. but I wasn't that desperate. Um. Try the notice board. I couldn't imagine who would pay attention to blah, the. Blah, blah, blah. The amazing panacea that cures all known ills. Cut me own throat dibbler's genuine, authentic, soggy mountain dew. Guaranteed to cure all problems or your money back. Ah, there's some small print. Guarantee will not be honored. That's no help. So what am I supposed to do now? I'm somewhat at a loss. The reconstructed matchbook clearly read Nine Whalebone Lane. 
I suppose I could tear it up again, but I was pretty pleased with the jigsaw as it was. I don't know what to do. Um... No? What if I use that on here? Nine Whalebone Lane was the parrot's address, all right. If I was right, Mundy was somewhere inside. Yes. The Octorin Parrot. But how? Can I go backstage now? Well, there's no one there. There was nothing I could do with the stage other than be glad I didn't have to perform on it. No. The stage where performers go up in front of a drunken crowd and sell their dignity to earn enough money to barely live on. It made me think that all the discs are stage and all the people players. Unfortunately, I felt like I'd been cast as an extra in my own life story. Um, I'm missing something. But what? The bar looked almost as appealing as every other bar in town to me. But the drinks didn't exactly fill you with confidence. If I could have taken the bar with me, believe me, I would. Me too. What am I not seeing? Let me try this again. Do you know what this is? It's a matchbook. Any reason it might... None that has any... I knew he was hiding something. The question I'm against, besides the... The bartender... No, 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 no. I'm back. So I... I don't know what to do. This seems like a... No, it's... It's... You could... You being funny, apparently. Look, I... I'm not getting any new options. He's not... Oh, I'm gone. Maybe if we talk about Mundy, specifically. I gave Mankin Mundy's description and asked if he'd seen him. He told me that he hadn't, but I was convinced he was lying. The matchbook had to belong to Mundy, and I was sure he was hiding here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So you don't know Mundy? I've already told you that I don't. And this matchbook means nothing to you. Do you practice to become this irritating? Well, I'm confused. You see, this is Mundy's handwriting on the matchbook, and this is your address he wrote. Shall I tell you what I think? I don't think I have that much choice. I think Mundy is here, but he told you not to tell anyone that he's here. You're just making it up as you go along. Well, I could always go and fetch the watch. I heard they were looking for Mundy too, and if he's not here, you wouldn't have to worry about being charged with hiding a known fugitive. They can get so impatient. Mundy's not a fugitive. How would you know? You little... <sighs> All right, you win. He's upstairs, but don't tell him I told you. I wouldn't dream of ruining your reputation in high society. Excellent. Right, how'd you get upstairs? Until later, Mankin. Is there a staircase? We got a new arrow. Finally. I'd gone to a lot of trouble to find Monday, and now the goal was in reach, it seemed like an anticlimax. I couldn't quite see what Monday was doing when I entered his room, and seconds later I couldn't see what he was The last thing I saw as I passed out of consciousness was the floor rushing up to meet me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Act 2. By the time I came around, the watch had arrived. I must have been unconscious for hours, maybe days. I thought no one could feel as bad as I did, until I saw Mundy. His feet were bound and his eyes had been gouged out. Either he died of massive blood loss or he'd spilt an awful lot of red wine. It wasn't going to be a good day, I decided. Going somewhere, Luton? You don't leave until we've finished with you. You know where my office is. 
If you want an interview, you can find me there. I consider you to be the prime suspect in this investigation. You've got to be kidding. I've never been more serious. Never? What do you want with me? I was unconscious throughout the whole incident. We only have your word for that. You could have killed Mundy and then knocked yourself unconscious. With what? Your wedding. You're pretty serious then. What? Yes, Nobby. Now shut up. Will you explain what you think I did? You came in, mutilated Mundy, and then knocked yourself unconscious. Is that all? There's your, uh, your promotion, too. You were really serious then. Nobby, you've made your point, thank you. Shut up. How did I knock myself unconscious? I don't know yet. But you're not a complete fool, Luton. You'd have found a way. Do you have any evidence against me, or is this just part of your ongoing campaign of victimization? It's just, you're always kind of serious. You were present at the time of the murder. Your rope was used in the murder. My rope? The murderer steals from me, and suddenly I'm guilty of murder? It's not a bad thing. I mean, you're the commander of the watch, and that's a serious job. Then there's the victim's message. Azil? How does that incriminate me? It ends in L.E. He could have been trying to write Luton. He could have died before he could finish. He could have been trying to write Lemon. And what is Azi supposed to mean? I was only trying to help. For all we know, Azi might mean it was in Mundy's own language. For all we know, Azil might mean help. Someone has gouged my eyes out. You're just guessing. There must be other suspects. The landlord says no one went upstairs after you. It could be the landlord for all you know. Mankin? He's not the type. Anyway, he reported the incident to us. Listen, you've got nothing on me, and unless you're going to arrest me, I'm going to leave. I'm keeping an eye on you, Luton. Consider yourself a suspect for all the counterweight killings. If you're in any way involved, I'll find out. Don't leave town, Luton. He's really got it in for me, hasn't he? He's not a bad person, Luton. He's just a bit... Um... Psychotic? Obsessed? Judgmental? I was going to say overworked, but I've changed my mind. What's this about counterweight killings? Well, and this is in the strictest confidence. I won't tell anyone who doesn't talk to me. The murders have all been a bit, well, odd, redualistic. What? They are involved with a revival of philosophical principles concerning the division of reality into two independent forces, mind and matter? Uh, no. Redualistic. Like what cults do. Reduals. Ritualistic? I see. Like someone was trying to make a point. Yeah. One of the patricians' clerks was killed the other day. Very suspicious. Why the counterweight killings? Uh, oh, I'd better not discuss that. Gotta go. See you later, Luton. A lot later will do. Okay. So that other watchman was apparently Vimes. That's not how I would have imagined Vimes at all. Anyway. Mysterious message. Looks to me like it's upside down. 3712V. Not Azil at all. Someone, either the killer or Mundy, had written Azil on the wall in blood. Mundy's blood, presumably. I had no idea what it meant. I take it I've just written. Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't copy it precisely. On the wall of Mundy's room, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah. what. Yeah. But it's definitely not a zeal, is it? If I had an iconograph, I could have taken a picture of the message. But I didn't have one. And even if I did, there didn't seem much point. I didn't want to become too reliant on technology. Okay. See, they've kindly left Mundy's corpse lying around. Mundy's corpse wasn't very attractive. I wasn't looking forward to telling Carlotta how Mundy died. There was nothing on Mundy's body worth taking. Hmm. It seemed to be a cheap copy of Spinner's Rain, Cream and Speed. I could tell it was art, 
because I couldn't make out what it was supposed to be. I couldn't think of a good reason to steal the painting, even though it would have looked great on my office wall. Okay. Anything... Oh. There's a frayed rope. Looking closely at the frayed rope hanging from the rafters, I knew that Mundy had been tied up by the legs and then hung from the ceiling. I didn't know why. Frankly, I wondered if I really wanted to know why. Something very strange was going on. Well, that's how you drain someone of blood, isn't it? Was that the rope that was attached to my grappling hook then? I didn't want to tamper with the evidence. Besides, there wasn't enough rope there to do me any good. Oh. Let's look at the bed. The bed looked neither comfortable nor inviting. No? It hardly seemed worth searching the bed. The watch had already searched it, and frankly, it was a pretty nasty bed. Okay. Is there anything else? Before we leave? No, I do not think so. Okay. Uh, let's go. I suppose we can tell Carlotta that we found Mundy. After we speak to Mankin. How does it feel to be a suspect, Mankin? What? You're an obvious choice of suspect because you called the watch. You were the first on the scene. Round here, that means it's practically a closed case. I don't see why. You were there when I got there. I was unconscious. Well, I heard a commotion. That's what made me check it out in the first place. Maybe Mundy managed to knock you out before he died. While he was tied and blind? Perhaps he said a particularly offensive word and I fainted. Well, I happen to know that the watch consider you a suspect. Well, don't forget that I know something that they don't. That you're a liar and you can't be trusted. Just because you can't trust me doesn't mean no one can trust me. Okay. That's all for now. Always a pleasure. Let's get to the Uberwald mansion. Let Carlotta know what's going on. Actually, I'm going to stop by the office first. See if anything happened while I was gone. No mysterious messages. No, there doesn't seem to be anything new here. So, let's go. And to the mansion. I see Sir has returned. Sir has? Who would Sir like to see? Um... Let's see... Let's see Carlotta first. Is Carlotta home? Alas, no. What a shame that Sir's trip has been wasted. Perhaps Sir would like to leave now. Tell her I called by. Why, my loins stir at the very thought of serving you in this way, sir. All right, then, let's not see Carlotta. Let's speak to the Count. Is the Count receiving guests? No, but he will see you. Ah, Luton. I was hoping you would drop by. You don't sound so good, Count. I am not the man I used to be, that is certain. Past my prime, you might say. Yes, past my prime. I could come back later if you want. No, no, there is no guarantee that I will be getting any better. If anything, I might be worse. Your health? Hmm. We are both men of the world, Mr. Luton. I will not mince words with you. I am dying. I might last another year or so, or I might not last the week. And to think I thought Ankh more pork would be good for my health. Not too many people would believe you, certainly. Let us dispense with the pleasantries and get straight to business. Yes? Yes. Straight to business. Yes. Let's. And... Let's talk about Mundy's murder. Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? Mr. Luton, I couldn't be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. 
but you wanted to be kept updated on the case. This is relating to the case. Does the word Azeel mean anything to you? Yes, yes, I remember Azeel, Azeel. The mad Ascari of the great Neth. He rose to power before even the light dams of Sorka were completed. I remember he used to punish his detractors by burying them upside down in the sand. Do you know, I think he honestly believed they might grow into trees. He was quite, quite mad, you know. Quite mad. How long ago was this? Oh, I don't know. A couple of hundred years ago, at least. You seem to remember it like yesterday. I am an old man. My memory plays tricks. He's a very, very old man. I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? Please do not waste my time. Okay. Uh... Do you know where Carlotta has gone? I asked the Count if he knew where Carlotta was when Mundy was murdered, but he wasn't sure. He told me that she wasn't in the mansion but that her comings and goings were a mystery to him. Unfortunately, he hadn't recorded the dialogue to tell me himself. What do you know about a dwarf named Al Carly? These days, the only people I know are those who come to the mansion. Okay. This is probably Do you know a dead big, dumb troll who goes by the name of Malachite? Malachite? There's a name I have not heard in many years. Oh, really? Yes, I know of him. How? As it happens, he broke into this mansion several years ago and stole several valuable heirlooms that were never recovered. Incredibly, the City Watch was able to catch him before the Thieves Guild did, and he was in prison. For some reason, I decided not to tell the Count that Malachite had escaped. I had a feeling the troll could still be useful to me. Maybe as a rockery one day. Interesting. The uh, cases are crossing over a little now. Do you know a woman named Ilsa or a man named Two Conquers? These days, the only people I know are those who come to the mansion. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Counterweight killings. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? Mr. Luton, I couldn't no. be less interested in the petty crimes of this wretched city. That's the same Do you know anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, this is probably a dead end as well. I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Please do not waste my time. Sorry. But, uh, tell me more about yourself. So you're a Count? I am the Count, yes. What's it like? It's fine. Although one does get the occasional burning desire to tear out the throat of people who ask too many questions. Do I have to draw you a picture? Yes, please. Um. Okay, that's the lot. I think. Let's get back to... Can I shortcut? Um... Don't he knows about the Therma case? But that's not a thing, so. No, no, there's. Not much else I can ask him about. Do you know a woman. Misclicked there. Um. No, there's, there's nothing else I can ask him about. It. Okay. So let's... Just out of curiosity. Oh, I don't have the matchbook anymore. And... I doubt I'm showing him the tooth. 
But you know, why not? I wasn't about to no. flash the stolen tooth or just as I thought. Let's leave then. I'll be back later. I look forward to it. So Can I uh Ooh Can I look around the mansion now? Maybe a little bit. Hmm. Oh, did, did the butler just vanish for a moment? Could have sworn I saw him vanish. Right, let's look at some things. I'll say this for the von Oberwalds. They had class. There weren't many homes in Ankh-Mor Park with a window that could take your breath away. Well, maybe in Unseen University. But I'd heard that they had windows there that could literally take your breath away. I wonder if we get to go to the university. There was no way I was going to try and smash such an incredible work of art. Is this the same as before? Say something. The painting bore a striking resemblance to Carlotta. Yep, it's the same. Okay. Let's look at the staircase. I'm saving the book for last. There was something about the wooden staircase that was really impressive. I think it might have been the thought that it probably cost more to make than everything I owned. Can I take it with me? I confess, I was consumed with avarice, but I wasn't about to steal an entire staircase. <laughs> Why not? Can I go up it? No. No, he can't go up the stairs. At least not yet. Okay, let's check out this book. This is bound to be of interest. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage. Probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave old, valuable books lying around in their reception halls? It's bad enough that they have so much more money than you without rubbing it in. Can I take it? The book was about the lineage and heraldry of the nobility of the city of Ankh. I didn't understand much of it, but I noticed that there were handwritten corrections in it. Uh. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage. Probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave hmm. old, valuable books lying around in their reception halls? It's bad enough. And so on. Perhaps we'll come back to the book later to check some peerage. I don't think there's anything else. See, he did. He vanished. He bloody vanished. Um, the on, von Uberwald's butler. I can't say I liked the man, but he seemed harmless enough. Let's have another quick I word see with sir him. Has returned. A sir has. Who would sir like to see? Tell me where. Actually, how about? How about? See if he knows about this. Do you know anything about the murder of a man named Mundy? I don't know anything about any murders, sir. Liar. Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? A sir has many questions, but alas, I have few answers. Few, but at least they're brief. I found some frayed rope near Mundy's body. Any idea what it means? I'm sorry. I cannot assist, sir, in that matter. No, I didn't think you'd be able to. Um. So what do you make of Carlotta oh, then? That Sir, again. Carlotta. Carlotta. Blah, she blah, does blah. indeed. Sir, is it? You're not as a. What? Same as before. Old, what you? Th I am not. Will you? So. As I bought the. He loves his floor, doesn't he? What do you know about a dwarf named Al Carly? Regrettably, sir, I know nothing about that person. No, none of this is new dialogue, so. That's a new clue. Do you know anything about the counterweight killings? 
I don't know anything about any murders, sir. So you say. Um... I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? I'm sorry. I cannot assist, sir, in that matter. Nah. Tell me about the Count. What can you tell me about the Count? I regret to inform, sir, that the Count's health has been in gradual decline and that he will probably not live to see the new year. That's five months away. Sir's grasp of mathematics dazzles me, sir. What's the problem? Merely that unlike Sir, I have not been blessed with a truly dizzying intellect. With the Count, I mean. The Count's health has been failing for some years now, but I believe he has never been so bad as since the loss of his one companion. His companion? Who's that? I fear that my idle tongue has already revealed too much of the Count's private affairs, and I would ask that Sir respect the Count's privacy, lest I be forced to provide Sir with a thick ear. <laughs> Ooh, new clue. I wasn't expecting that. So, what can you tell me about this missing companion? Why, sir, believes that asking me again will yield any different answer is beyond my comprehension and must therefore be a sign of the staggering intellectual advantage that sir possesses over such a humble retainer. I like the butler. Even if he isn't very forthcoming. Okay. So that's that, but I do want to speak to the Count again. So. Is the Count receiving guests? No, but he will see you. I've got a few more questions for you, Count. Uh, yes, uh, good questions. Go on. Yay. A new line of questioning. Your interest in the Mundy case wouldn't have something to do with your missing companion, would it? Why, Mr. Luton? I'm impressed. You actually do have some detective skills. What's the deal? He was my friend. Perhaps my last friend. He was a dwarf of simple tastes, and when I was younger, he drove my carriage for me. These days, given that I am confined to the conservatory, I have no need for a driver, but I kept raking on the payroll so that I should have someone to talk to. When did he go missing? Three days ago. He took the carriage out that night and has not been seen since. And you thought Carlotta might have employed me to look for him? I was hoping, yes. You could always employ me to find him. Wouldn't that be a conflict of interests? I don't see why. Anyway, there isn't a conflict of interest that I know about that couldn't be solved with a generous cash settlement. Be assured that if you can find Reagan, I can offer you substantial recompense. Then I'll see what I can do. The Count gave me an iconograph of Reagan to help my investigations. My mind was already racing. Three days ago, the Milka arrives. Three days ago, Reagan disappears. Now, I believe in coincidences. Coincidences happen every day. But I don't trust coincidences. Something deeper was going on here, and I was going to find out what. Because I can't stand a secret, and because I have a burning need to find the truth. But mostly, because there was a wad of money in it for me if I found out. Good motivation. Interesting. Well, we don't need to ask him about anything else. Is there anything useful you could tell me about Reagan that would help me find him? Only that he was a dwarf, a good driver, and that he liked a rat burger as much as the next dwarf. Okay. Let's leave. I think we've asked him everything I'll be back we later. can. I look forward to it. Let's have a look at that photograph. Reagan was Count von Uberwald's driver and confidant. He'd paid me to find him, or to find out what had happened to him, and had given me this picture of him to help. 
I looked closely at the iconograph and memorized the bold dwarf's features. Okay. Maybe we can ask the butler. I see Sir has returned. Sir has? Who? About the iconograph? Tell me about Reagan. Sir? Reagan, the Count's companion. A sir seems to have mistaken me for someone who wishes to help him in his inquiries. Listen, you work for the Count, and I'm trying to find Reagan for the Count. Indeed, sir. But sir has already learned everything that the Count was prepared to tell him about Mr. Reagan, and hence I fear I have nothing to offer him, even should I be threatened with being disemboweled by a crazed rhinoceros. Hmm. Now. A thought has I occurred to I think I'd better be going. So soon? But Sir has barely had the chance to irreparably damage the furnishings. Oh, I'll keep working on it. Right. I wonder if... I can... apply a clue... such as... Um, no. We need a clue of someone's name and show it to the Twerps Peerage. So, let's try it, Carlotta, with the book. The handwriting in the margin looked a little feminine. No. The handwriting in the margin looked a little feminine. Okay. The book was an old edition of Twerp's Peerage, probably a collector's item. Why do rich families feel the need to leave Not old sure valuable that... books lying around in their reception halls? It's ba Right, so that didn't work. Come on, put the clue away. Thank you. Can I try a different one? Like... Them two? There didn't seem to be any obvious connection to the book. I see, that's a different response. Was it implying that Carlotta had written the corrections? Um... Try... Al Kali is probably not in there. They weren't mentioned in the peerage. Right. So I can do that. But it's not getting me any answers just yet. Let's head out. And... Can I leave please? Thank you. Let's go to... Let's ask Nobby about Reagan. There was something about the way the other members of the watch looked at me that let me know that no matter how innocent I was, I was still stained with suspicion. Still, I'll take the stains of suspicion over the tarnish of guilt. Suspicion was easier to wash out. Sometimes I think I'd just give up and crawl inside a whiskey bottle. Except that you can only do that if you are less than one inch high. Right. Let's show him the photograph. Sorry. Iconograph. Doesn't look like I'm too welcome around here. Of course, I haven't been welcome here since I got kicked off the force, but at least then they just thought I was corrupt. Now they think I'm a murderer. Nah, Luton, you, you've got it all wrong. They don't think you're a murderer. They think... Um, that my personal hygiene is appalling? Uh, no. That I have the Clutchian plague? No. Uh, Face it, they think I'm a murderer. You know, g give me a minute, I'll think of something. Nobby, you've never thought of something printable in your entire life. Why should you start now? I'm looking for a dwarf named Reagan. He's been missing. Missing? What kind of missing? 
Missing for a few hours, missing person, missing in the shades. Help me out here, will you? Missing person, I guess. How long's he been missing? Three days. Three days? You've got to be kidding. That barely counts as a hangover in Angmore Park, let alone a missing person case. How long would he have to be missing, then? I'd say at least three weeks. Three weeks? Of course, it'd depend on who he was. If the patrician went missing for three hours, I'd it warrant an investigation. Justice for some, eh? Okay. Right then, let's have a chat. I need your help again, Nobby. Well, okay, I suppose. Um. Does he know where Carlotta is? Probably not. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? Never heard of him. No, that's the same. This will all be the same. Probably. Ah. We can ask about these. Tell me more about these counterweight killings. I'm not really sure I should, Luton. Sorry. Come on, Nobby. You can trust me. Well... No. Look, Luton, I can't tell you. Why not? Shouldn't I know? It's not to be discussed with anyone who's not part of the case. Ah, I see. Well, that makes sense. Obviously, you wouldn't want people not involved with the case learning about it. Exactly. And I'm the prime suspect in that case, right? Well, you're the prime suspect in the Monday case. But the prime suspect in the counterweight killings is that foreign spy who's been killing all the prominent people. Like that bloke up at Unseen University and that fellow in the Patrician's Palace. Right. Well, I won't ask any more questions then, seeing as how I shouldn't. Thank you, Luton. I appreciate it. Wouldn't be too conkers, would it? Am I still prime suspect in Monday's murder? Afraid so. Let's just try that. It didn't seem worth asking oh. about that. I guess not. Is there anything else? Um... No. No, nothing seems relevant. So... Um... I'm trying to find out why a troll named Sapphire would lie to me. Any thoughts? Can't help you with that, Squire. No, I didn't think you'd be able to. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'll be back. Uh, yeah, right, Luton. I wonder if... Let me find it again. See if they're relevant to... I refuse to believe Ilsa could have anything to do with murder. But what about two conkers? Oh well. In that case, I think the next part of call will be the cafe. So let's head on up there. See if anything's changed around the corner. Nope. But the golem isn't loading the wine anymore. I guess I never really noticed that the Café Ankh had a wine cellar before. Perhaps if they'd run out of drinks at the bar, I'd have been more inclined to investigate. But you noticed that two episodes ago. I knew full well that I wouldn't be able to get down there without permission and the right key. But the crowbar is the right key, surely? You can't go around jimmying every door open just because you can. Besides, I liked some ale and Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go in. And, um, we shall speak to Elsa, but not right now. It'll have to wait until the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.